Hello, today I'll be playing with the DSO Nano Pocket Oscilloscope. An oscilloscope is an invaluable tool to the engineer. You can use it to measure the frequency of your out signal, check the logic on an Arduino pin, or check an analog voltage. Now let's get the setup real quick. So let's turn this thing on. Alright, so I'm waiting. Alright, so as you can see, there's the blue trace here, which is my signal trace. I'll get this a little closer so you guys can see it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my signal generator on and as you can see there is now the, the sine wave I'm generating on the oscilloscope. Now it's a little cut off on the bottom so I'm going to move it up. I'm going to go to my Y offset option mode. Alright, so now I'm in the ground position and I'm increasing the ground. Now you may have noticed this green line here. Uh, can you see it? Right. Uh, that, that line is not useless. Uh, it controls this thing called trigger. And what trigger does is it, it signals the capture of the wave you're trying to look at. So I go in the trigger and I hit mode. Alright, I'm going to go to trigger level and I'm going to lower the screen line into my sine wave. And you will see that the sine wave stops. Change that back to level. Well, look at that. So now I have this, this nice sine wave on my oscilloscope. I can go up to the voltage division and zoom in. This is VD on the top though. Alright. Now I can go to the time and increase, or I can zoom in and zoom out again on the x-axis. Uh, the measuring tool here uh, stands the ME. Uh, I can choose ME mode and I can see uh, all the stats and the signal I'm getting. So I have the frequency, the duty cycle, the VRMS, uh, the VP, which is the, the top of the wave to the bottom of the wave. I have the, the Vmax and Min, and the V average. As you can see, those numbers um, look about right for the sine wave I'm generating. There's no offset. And that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, tune in next week.